Finding the SnowRunner Romandra update tough, here's a guide to unlocking the garage, including an easy route and various tips and tricks. Ah, Romandra, a truly beautiful nirvana where trucks glide peacefully through its snowy vistas. Just kidding, it can be hell. Honestly, if you thought Lake Kov and the Rift were bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. So it makes sense to unlock the garage as quickly as possible. Easy on paper, you just need to drag two metal beams and two wooden planks from A to B. Yet Amanda is by far the most unforgiving, mean, bitter, and twisted map Saber Interactive has ever made. And those are the positives. Honestly, imagine every major way to get a truck stuck or limit progress and a manja will do it. Dense trees, tarmac covered in black ice, fat hills, thin gorges, deep snow, large boulders. It's where the usually unstoppable Caterpillar 745C goes to die. So here's my guide including a best route plus tips and tricks that may make life a little less soul destroying, hopefully. To unlock the Amandra Garage, you first need to complete a mission known as Broken Power Station, which is where the metal beams come in, and then a second mission known as Repairing Power Lines, which requires the wood. I will say now that these missions and the relevant preparation can take a few hours. Be under no impression that you will easily succeed, even with the best trucks. One mistake can ruin everything and force another rescue effort from all the way back in Lake Cov. There are two ways to do it, which I will get to in a second. Second. But first, I would strongly advise you use maprunner.info. It's obviously more exciting to explore without, but Amanda is tough enough and some of those watchtowers can be a nightmare to get to, and they don't even cover the whole map anyway. To begin the mission, start from the Lake Cove Garage and go to the northwest corner in a truck that has mud tyres, trailer capability, decent ground clearance, and either great stability or the ability to use the autonomous winch. If you want an easier time, consider taking two trucks, both with a flatbed for the metal beams, and then one with a maintenance trailer for fuel and repairs. Fit both trucks with the best winch you can, or at least the one with the longer range. You may need it. I'll now show you my route to Amandra. Once in Amandra, follow the main road north until you see an icy lake, then take the smaller left path to the military airport. I prefer to skirt along the edge of the lake on the left, just watch out for giant boulders. Once at the edge of the lake, sneak to the middle and you'll see some gaps in the trees. Now you're at the airport, where you can find a large fuel trailer to top up your supplies, fill everything. Then go left along the runway and again sneak through some trees after a bit of up and down snow action. Eventually you'll see a house. You can sneak through the gap nearby on the right side and then cruise along the beach to the left. Stick to the right side as it's less muddy and avoid hitting the boulders too hard unless you want to tip over. After a while you'll see some ice you can cross. Stick to the darker ice as it snakes around. You'll see a modest slab that bridges the river. Try to make it over without falling in. Smaller trucks are obviously going to have an easier time. If you struggle, pro tip time. Bring a truck with a large crane. The small crane takes so long to do the job, but it is possible. And then move the spare slabs to make a wider crossing. There are two slabs nearby and another two on the other side of the crossing. Once over, head northeast a little to the edge of the lake. You should see a connecting road, which can be tricky to reach. And 
and then go right at the next road. Follow this until you see buildings. The first set has a fuel trailer, and the second is where you start the broken power station mission. Initiate it. Now head back east until you reach the timber shipment place. You'll be back here later, so avoid picking up the wooden planks. Follow this road heading north, sneaking between some more trees, then across the ice where there used to be a bridge. Again, go slow as dark, uncracked ice is strong, but there are some parts you can break that look similar. If you have done the magnitude of 5 mission, you can then cruise along the north road all the way around as it basically stops at the substation. If not, you will want to take the road on the right earlier. It's easier and quicker to then stay on the right side of the lake until you see another broken bridge. Look for a crossing, then skirt the rocky bit of land until you can sneak up towards the trees, then head east to the substation. Deliver your goods and it's time for part two, or you can try the second method. This option has its merits because it spares you a long drive from Lake Cov, but it also involves one of the most perilous pathways up a steep hill and then back down via the warehouse. Personally, I think the Lake Cov route is easier. Still keen? Initiate the mission and then head north to the metal shipment warehouse, along a winding and quite annoying path. Once you have the metal beams, I would go back the way you came. Towards the end of this pathway is the metal detector module, although I would come back for this later. Continue back past the magnitude of 5 mission area, then top up some fuel from the next settlement on the left you may have used earlier. Then keep going east until you can join that northward path and follow my earlier instructions to the substation. Deliver as before and top up fuel using the abandoned trailer. Then drive back a little and get to the next mission. Now it's time for part two. Similar drill, you can get either the two wooden planks from the Lake of Sawmill and do the same route as before to Amandra, or get them from within Amandra at the Timber Merchant. If your trucks are good to go in Amandra already, the place to get planks is a route you have already done, just backwards. The best route to the two power lines you need to repair goes via the Amandra Timber Shipment Collection area. Just remember to bring a truck with two slots of cargo space. There's no need for four this time. I brought a maintenance trailer as it helps with fuel repairs and balance. Here's my route. The first broken power line is the toughest to get to. There are a lot of big rocks along the way, so you will want something with decent ground clearance, but not too giant. While my Azov 73210 was hopeless, the Tega King and its mud balloons worked well. I went towards the magnitude of 5 mission area, so you'll need to cross that ice again, same as before. Then follow the main road east towards where the garage will be built and where you initiated the broken power station mission. Then take the left north path by the scary cliffs up and around the horseshoe. This starts as a thin trail. Take it slow and look for gaps between the rocks as you cruise upwards. When there's no gap, make sure the two rocks you're driving over are roughly the same height to avoid unwanted tipping or throwing your cargo over the edge. Things get easier now, but avoid being complacent. Keep following this path all the way until you get to a T-junction. Ditch your trailer at this point as turning round space is limited. You can go to the left and then up a rocky pathway, but I found none of my trucks would fit. Instead, go right a little and find a gap in the trees. The Azov 6 for one through one fits, so most biggish trucks can do it, but probably not the Caterpillar 745C or Azov 4220 Antarctic. If you brought a big trailer, this will be much tougher. You can also come in from the east of this hill up a steep slope and through trees then rocks. This was okay in the Azov 6 for one through one, but the Azov Antarctic tipped its cargo over on the way. With better driving, it would work. Work. However, I think a smaller off-road truck is better suited and the other route is easier. At this point, you can now have a tea in an official A Tribe Called Cars mug. Well done. Now head towards the second and final power line. Go back to the path you came up from and collect your trailer if you brought one. Then go northeast along this road, then go left at the T-junction towards the waterfall. The water is not that deep, so cruise over it, having left everything but the remaining wooden planks behind. Once up the steep slope on the other side, which has some black ice, so use the two trees to pull yourself up, it helps to stick to the snowy sides, go left, and there's the final broken power line. 
That's it, finish the mission, but do not recover your truck. You need to discover the garage to open it, so head back the way you came towards the Magnitude of 5 mission, then keep heading west. Eventually you'll come to a settlement you went past earlier. Drive up to it and go inside, voila. You can now recover your trucks to Amandra instead of Lake Cov. And that's it, I hope you found this useful. Honestly, Amandra becomes much less of a pain when you have a base there. Some of the roads are actually not so bad and you soon learn what trucks work best and which roads to avoid, particularly the slanty black ice road of misery. I'll be doing a best trucks guide, so be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching, happy to help in the comments, take care, bye.